They write songs, write great tunes. I play the bass line and take care of the business end of it pretty much. Well, I will be 57 next week. Ed is somewhere around 50, I believe, lead guitar player. Uh, I'm not sure if Justin has turned 30 yet, but he and Kyle are somewhere close, late 20s, maybe 30, and K Mac, our drummer, is mid 20s, 25 or 6, thereabouts. It's really made it a lot easier. Uh, we, it's easy to get along. It doesn't seem like we really have a leader. Everybody has their role that they that they fit into, and we all bring different musical influences into the group because of the different eras that we grew up in and what we listen to and what we like. Well, there's a creek out about five or six miles east of Wellington called Atterbury Creek. Everybody knows Atterbury Bridge, and we just wanted something different, so we we picked Atterbury Creek, and there's an old gas station that was built back in the teens or the 20s here just off the courthouse square called Ball Station, and we just used Atterbury and Station for the gas station. What makes it work musically is I'm a 70s rock guy. Justin is a late 80s, 90s rock guy. Ed is pure country. K-Mac is jazz. And Kyle is blues and southern rock. Everywhere we play, someone always says, your music doesn't sound like anybody else's we've heard. August of 11, the first Saturday every August is when Wellington has their ex-students. And uh, the Ritz had Reckless Kelly playing here, and we were playing out at the Country Club the same night. Retric Reckless Kelly, they were playing from 8 to 10, and we were playing from 10 to midnight or whatever. And when they were loading out, uh, after they got through, uh, Cody Braun, the fiddle player, one of the Braun brothers from Idaho, uh, came out to the Country Club uh, while he was waiting for their guys, to their roadies, to load their bus out and everything. And heard us play and he was I, he was intrigued by Ed's guitar playing. Ed and I went to Amarillo and met with Cody and he agreed to do it in the following January, January of 12, he agreed to produce it. So we went to Bismo Studios in Austin and a buddy of mine lives there and his children are all grown and he has a big house. His name is Glenn Barton and I, I've known Glenn well enough over the years before I even asked him, I told the guys, I said, guys, I don't want some place we can save some money. I've got a buddy that I bet will put us up while we're while we're down there. So I'll call Glenn. He said, you bet. Be glad to. And Glenn lives out in southwest Austin on a street called Spillman Ranch Loop. So we came up with it pretty much collectively. Hey, in honor of Glenn, since he lives on Spillman Ranch Loop and we spent the night there, let's just name the CD Nights at Spillman Ranch. So that's how the CD got its name. Music is just what gives us our being and what we do. Music is in every culture in the world. God gave us music to make us happy in, in sad times.